It was one heck of a good weekend for North Dakota State Bison basketball fans as thousands of green and gold faithful packed into the shack to witness a pair of wins from the Bison women and men over their in-state rivals North Dakota. Now both sides of the herd turn for their final two regular season games. NDSU women earned the most dominant win of the day, a 107-80 record-setting beatdown of the Fighting Hawks that featured the second time this season the Bison dropped over 100 on UND. They had never done that in history before this season. And for the men, they're winners of five of their last six going into the last two games. Both teams trying to finish in the top few places in the Summit League as the women clinched the two seed at worst. Both teams spoke to the media post game and what the attitudes are like going into this last regular season weekend. I'm really proud of how we defended this week. I thought we rebounded pretty well. Um, I still don't love who we are offensively lately, you know, down the stretch. And, and that's, that's got to be a focus. We've got to continue to be unsatisfied. We've got to continue to get better. We've got a lot more left. we got a lot more. I feel like we didn't hit that many shots from three point arc this game. And uh, I feel like we got a lot, a lot more ahead of us. You know, we're just trying to keep momentum. We're trying to play well. Um, we want to come right back here Thursday night and have another great game. Um, and then go see what we can do down uh, in, at South Dakota State. And Next up for the Bison is a battle with the South Dakota Coyotes. Both games is Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Women at home in the shack, men on the road down in Vermilion. The women are still two games back from an undefeated South Dakota State in first place, and the men are in third, one full game behind North Dakota still, and two full games behind those same pesky Jackrabbits. For the first time in a decade, the Concordia Covers women's basketball team is in the NCAA tournament. Concordia is one of the 21 at-large bids for the tourney, and they'll play Illinois Wesleyan at Wartburg. Tip-off for that first round game is this Friday, March 1st at 5.15 p.m. Breaking news out of Tennessee today, former Bison offensive coordinator Tyler Roll left Tennessee State for the Iowa State Cyclones of the Big 12. Roll will take a job as assistant head coach and running backs coach at ISU. All this coming just a month after taking that TSU job in, in the FCS. Iowa State kicks off their 2024 season against a familiar foe for Roll in the North Dakota Fighting Hawks on August 31st. So pretty small world there, I guess. Lots of changes for him, lots of changes yeah. in the weather.